So there's a lot of information in this question, but it's nothing that you can't handle. So the first bit, metals have a lower specific heat capacity than water. Well, that might be true, but it's kind of irrelevant, and actually when it comes to answering this question here. Uh, but when a kilogram cylinder of aluminium was heated by a 200 watt heater, it took 115 seconds to raise its temperature by 25.0 degrees Celsius. Now, we're going to assume that all of the energy went into heating up the aluminium rather than being lost to the surroundings. And we need to calculate the specific heat capacity of aluminium. So C is our specific heat capacity, and AL just represents the fact that this is the specific heat capacity of aluminium, and that's an unknown thing in this equation here. But we do know the mass is equal to 1.00 kilograms, and we know that the change in temperature, delta theta, is equal to 25.0 degrees Celsius. But we can't work, what's the energy you now? How do we, in order to work out this, we need to know the energy transferred. And we can work out the energy by looking at the power and the time. Now, uh, the power is equal to 200 watts, and the time is equal to 115 seconds. And energy, because power is equal to energy divided by time, the energy transferred is going to be equal to the power times the time. So that's equal to 200 times 115. And then if you put that into your calculator, that comes out as 23,000 joules. So I'm just going to leave that in joules. So now we know the energy, the mass, the change in temperature, and we can use that to work out the specific heat capacity. So um, specific heat capacity, or the change in energy, is going to be equal to mc delta theta. Uh, and we need to find this. So we can rearrange this by dividing the change in energy by the mass and the change in temperature to say that the specific, specific heat capacity of aluminium is equal to the change in energy divided by m delta theta. <clears throat> now we've just worked out the energy up here, so that's 23,000 divided by the mass, which is 1.00 times 25.0 the change in temperature. And this then gives an answer equal to 920. And then I guess the tricky bit here is trying to remember the units for this. Uh, and this is, the, this is measured in joules per kilogram per degree Celsius. So it is true that uh, aluminium has a lower specific, specific heat capacity than water. Water is about 4,200. And yeah, metals have a lower value, which actually often means that metals will heat up quicker than things like water. So a lot to this question. But basically, I identified from the question the important bits of information. I used an intermediate equation to actually work out the energy transferred, and then I used that to find at the end the specific heat capacity of aluminium.